Hey, what is going on guys? So today we'll be taking a look at three recent Star Wars The Black Series archive figures I've picked up here. These are three figures I've been looking at getting for a while now and it's just so happened they've gone on a really good clearance deal. So perfect time to pick these guys up and really stoked to add these ones into the collection here. The first one being the Lando Calrissian. I haven't had the previous release of this figure so it's really cool to get this one here. There's a shot at the back of the box there. The next one is the C-3PO. I believe from A New Hope, also Empire. Really cool to finally have a C-3PO. Again, you could probably pick up more than one of these guys and sort of double him around where you like. There's a shot of the back of the packaging also. I do quite like what they do there with the old release. That does look nice seeing the previous packaging for the figure. And the third one here is the Dengar. Really stoked to have this one also. I missed out on Bosk at the time, so I'm looking at getting my hands on him and also I need to pick up the full on Menzuckus. I do have a Boba Fett model kit that is from Empire, so I think I'll put that one together and chuck him in that display and finally start building out the Bounty Hunters. And here's a shot of the back of the packaging for Dengar. Looking really good there also. And here's a shot of all three figures in the trays. Lando first looking really good there with his accessories. Followed with the C-3PO. No accessories for this guy, but he does look pretty good there in the tray and I'm stoked to finally have a C-3PO. And the final one being Dengar, again the accessories scattered throughout the tray, looking really good also with everything there. And here we have all three figures out of the packaging. Getting these guys out of the packaging, they do all look really good and I'm really stoked to finally have all these guys. Starting off with the Lando, I'm really impressed with the detail over the armour. He does look really good with the colour scheme going over this figure. The head scan looks great on this one, you can really see the likeness in there. And as mentioned, just some really nice sculpting and details over the entire figure. A few different straps and colours as you work your way down. Really nice detail on the waist piece also. It really does look like a leather feel to it. That and the armour really do stand out. A lot of nice detail in there. Taking a look at the accessories that come with Lando, it is the removable helmet, which does look really good there. It is a soft rubber piece, but just as mentioned, like that skirt piece on the figure, it just has a nice leather detailed look to the top of it. Some nice patterns and colours over the entire piece and a nice wash over the front piece there. He does also have the weapon, staff, whatever you prefer to call this, with the axe on the end. Again, a nice wash and detail over this one, but it does look really good there. The next one here is the C-3PO. Again, no accessories with this guy. I did think he would have moving elbows. I figured there'd be something with the joint there that they would do. But there is no moving elbow on this figure, just in the wrist and the shoulder there. The shoulder does go outwards on a joint, and the actual shoulder piece is a separate movable part also. There's not a great range of articulation over this figure, so you won't get any crazy dynamic poses. But not that the character moved around too crazy anyway. There is some nice detail inside the hands there. I do quite like what they have done there. So it is nice to see them putting in all the effort they can in the detail on this figure. I do really like the chest piece also, and where the wiring sits. That all does look really nice in there. And the final one here is Dengar. Looking really good standing there also. The head sculpt on this one does look really great and there's some really nice detail within the scratching and scars over the figure's face. Continuing down the figure, I really like the sculpt work done on the armour pieces over the chest plate. Taking a look at the accessories for this one, he does come with his blaster rifle. This does look really good here. He does also have the pistol that goes into the holster. And the final accessory is the backpack there. Some really nice detail and paint work done over this one. The sculpting looks really great also. So the detail is done really well, especially for something that'll go onto the back of the figure. Some nice paint work over the straps around the armor pieces over the legs. And the armor pieces themselves do look good there also. Again, just some really nice detailed paint work over this figure. The arms are pinless, which does look really good there. And I noticed if you do put the arms up, you can see these slight grooves for the backpack straps to clip into. So you can just clip on the backpack and that all does just go on there like so. Here is the other side. I haven't clipped this one in yet. So as you can see, it's just hanging there free. If you look closely on the back of the armored chest plate there, you can see a little groove for the strap to go into. And then there it is now just pushed in and it just clips in pretty easily there. And here's just a shot of Dengar with the weapon in his hand. So that looks really cool there also. So overall guys, I'm pretty happy with these ones. Like I said, I was really stoked to pick them up for such a good clearance deal. And I was wanting to add all these to the collection anyway. It just happened to be a perfect time to grab these ones. Let me know what you think of these figures. 
And like always, thank you all for watching and I will catch you in the next one.